Hello my friends, welcome back to Keto and the Chaos. My name is Tammy and on this channel, I will show you how I've lost 205 pounds. All the tips and tricks on how I did it and how you can do it too. In this video, I'm gonna show you everything I ate for week 13 of my cut, my summer challenge. I did really great on my challenge. I lost 24.2 pounds during 13 weeks of the summer, and I'm really excited about my progress on getting ready to go into a reverse dieting phase. So this video is showing everything that I ate for the final week of my keto cut. My average calories were 1320 for the foods you're gonna see in this video. Um, uh, my average protein was 134, my average carbs were 19, and my average fats were 70. So I really hope that this video will help you get some ideas for your own meal plan. And don't forget to check out the About section for all the great things down below where you can get started doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, and I can help you on your journey. All right, let's get to the food. Alrighty everyone, welcome to the final week of my keto cut! Woo! Alright, well, I won't be totally gorging on calories after this week, but I will be changing a little bit things how I do it. Now, I am having a hard time with the deficit at this moment, so I'm trying to make it more fun <laughs> in order to help myself cope with this last week of challenging food. So I'm having blueberry truffles. I used to eat these every single day and I might start eating them every day. Maybe I'll eat them every day this week. I don't know. But basically these are made from two eggs, 60 grams of a mozzarella cheese. There's 10 on each side of each truffle basically. It makes three truffles. I put 32 grams of blueberries in these and then on top I drizzled um, melted one ounce of regular Philadelphia cream cheese mixed with a squirt of Mio and some powdered erythritol and just kind of drizzle that over the top. So I'm hoping that tastes very dessert-like today because I'm really needing some desserts if you can't tell. And then I have 300 grams of Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt, that's like a cup and a half in order to bring the protein up and keep the fats low because of the fat in the cream cheese. And then I'm gonna eat another package, or at least a half a pack probably, of the Max Mellows. And I am actually going to make them a little bit more palatable and less sticky by dipping them in a little powdered swerve. So that is <laughs> gonna be my desserty type first meal of the day, but it's gonna fit my macros perfectly and that's exactly what I'm looking for. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Sunday night and I am having chicken fajita nachos. So I have a package of Quest nacho cheese chips, four ounces of chicken breast, 50 grams of bell pepper, 30 grams of onion, two ounces of Mexican blend cheese, two tablespoons of salsa, and two tablespoons of sour cream. And that is gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Monday. It is the first day of homeschool. It is 11 o'clock, we just finished up our big feast and now I get to eat something. I am having 46 grams of center cut bacon, 100 grams of scrambled eggs, 30 grams of strawberries, two ounces of, or 56 grams of burned mozzarella cheese. Yeah, don't ask. And then I'm having a premier protein shake, the peaches and cream. And I am having a hot herbal tea. It is throat coat tea with three tablespoons of almond milk and some sweetener. And that is going to be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Monday night and tonight I felt like having spaghetti squash spaghetti. So I have 155 grams of spaghetti squash topped with six ounces of 93.7 ground beef, two servings of Lucini marinara and an ounce of grated Parmesan cheese. And that is gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Tuesday afternoon. It is one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm breaking my fast with the first meal of the day. Today I am having two fried eggs, 56 grams of mozzarella cheese fried up in a pan, and 40 grams of center cut bacon, and a cup of 0% Faye Greek yogurt sweetened with orange tangerine Mio water enhancer. I have the link to that water enhancer down in the description below. And a sugar free jello, and that is gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Tuesday night, I am having Mexican rice for dinner. So this is 155 grams of cauliflower rice with six ounces of 93.7 ground beef, um, 30 grams of onion, 30 grams of bell pepper, a tablespoon of green chilies, three ounces of canned tomatoes, and then on top, two ounces of Mexican blend cheese and two tablespoons of sour cream. And that is gonna be my last meal of the day. 
Alrighty, everyone. It is a Wednesday afternoon. It is one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm having my first meal of the day. Today I am having my same 56 grams of mozzarella cheese and 20 grams of center cut bacon, but I decided to do a twist on the keto custard. This is a, made with a vanilla quest shake with um, 15 grams of blueberries. I don't know if it's going to turn out really good. The blueberries didn't really pop. I was hoping that they would pop but they didn't. And then I put cinnamon and a little bit of a powdered, erythrit powdered erythritol on top. So I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but whatever, it's a twist. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Wednesday night and I am having kind of a zucchini chicken Alfredo. So I just have chopped up yellow and green. So zucchini and yellow squash, banana squash. Um, 155 grams of that, about, about half and half of each. And then on top I have six ounces of chicken breast, two ounces of mozzarella cheese, um, two servings of Oreo's Alfredo sauce, and 60 grams of tomato. And that is going to be my last meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it's Thursday afternoon. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm having my first meal of the day. Today I am having yogurt. I have one cup of 0% Faye Greek yogurt sweetened with lemonade, Mio water enhancer. And I've got two fried eggs, 40 grams of center cut bacon, two ounces of mozzarella cheese fried in a pan, and a sugar-free jello. And that is gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Thursday night and I am having chicken soup for dinner. So I have eight ounces of chicken thigh meat with broth made from bouillon and of course the chicken itself for flavoring. And then I have eight baby carrots, uh, 60 grams of celery, 30 grams of onion, and then two tablespoons of heavy cream to make it a cream soup. And that is gonna be my last meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Friday afternoon. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm finally eating my first meal of the day. Um, it is Dave's birthday and um, he had Quest cookie for breakfast and he left the box here so I'm totally having one because you know I'm a sucker for a Quest cookie. Yum. So that's going to be in place of my cheese today. So I have two fried eggs, um, 30 grams of center cut bacon, the Quest cookie, one cup of 0% Faye Greek yogurt sweetened with orange tangerine Mia water enhancer and a sugar-free jello. And that's gonna be my first meal of the day. Alrighty everyone, it is Friday night and I am having spaghetti squash spaghetti. So I have 155 grams of spaghetti squash, six ounces of 93.7 ground beef, two ounces of mozzarella cheese and one serving of Lucini marinara. And that's gonna be my last meal of the day. My bag, I have my savior. And I also have, yes, yes I have one. I've been waiting to eat this flavor for so long. No, I brought you one. I think I will bring you one. It's technically your birthday-ish thing. <laughs> Happy birthday, Chef Dave. That's kind of gross. The texture's good. A lot of hype. So. Well, the texture's good like for a Quest bar. It's a little chewier. It doesn't taste lemony enough. Well, I mean, gosh, squirt some freaking meal on this, guys. So as you can see here, I'm having 12 ounces with the bone in. So I'm not sure how much that is with the bone out, but 12 ounces of pork baby back ribs and 300 grams of my yellow salad, jello salad. Well, there you have it. Everything I ate this week, to lose weight on a ketogenic way of eating. This is week 13 of my keto cut. It went so awesomely well. I'm super happy with my results. I can't wait to do it again, but right now I'm focusing on reversing my calories so that I can take a diet break for a little while and then get started on a cut at a later date. I really like to take my time with this. I'm to a new uh, weight decade. I'm happy about that. I'm super excited about my progress and I'm ready to move to the next thing. So the future videos are going to be coming out will not be foods to lose weight, but they will be foods that I'm eating in order to reverse my calories and improve my metabolism and do the diet after the diet. So I'm really looking forward to that, guys. And I hope you'll subscribe and support me in this new venture and I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. We'll talk to you all again soon.